This video explains the basics of Little's Law. Little's Law is a basic description of the relationship between the time of a job, so the time it takes to produce a product or work on an order, the time the product or order spends in a queue, and the throughput, and this is the amount of products or orders that are made in the production system. Although the formula of Little's Law is simple, Little's Law is one of the fundamental parts of factory physics and is used for the calculation of waiting times, work in progress, the number of processes that have to be implemented, and so on. In this specific video, we introduce the basic assumptions and the formula. In other videos, we will show applications of Little's Law, specific examples, and we will use Little's Law to explain Kingman's equation and other aspects of factory physics. So, let's start with a simple production process. We see here a production process. This total process consists of a processing job and a queue. This processing job transforms input to output. For instance, the assembly of parts into a total product, or the treatment of a patient, or whatever production process you can think of, small or large. Before this processing job, we see a queue, Raw products that come into the system and that cannot be transformed immediately can wait in this queue. As you can see, the number of parts in the queue depends on the time it takes to process the product and how much products enter the total process in a certain amount of time. The quicker the products enter the system, or if the processing job takes a longer time, there is need for this queue to store products until processing. We call the number of products the work in progress, or WIP. And we want to know how much items are in this queue. By the way, Little calls WIP with the letter L. What we know is the relationship between the times that it takes to do the job and the waiting time in the queue, and the number of products entering and leaving the system. We call the time it takes to do the work on one single product the processing time, or job time. We call the time one single product waits in a queue the queuing time. And it may not come as a surprise, the time it takes for one product to go through the queue and the processing job is called the total time, or total throughput time. The number of products entering the production system should be equal to the number of products leaving the system. And this we call the throughput. So the number of products going through the production system in a certain amount of time. The relationship between the times, the work in progress and the throughput is as follows. The number of items in the system, so the work in progress, equals the throughput, so the number of products going through the system, multiplied by the total time it takes. You can easily understand that if, for instance, instance, every minute a product enters the production system and the total time it takes to go through the system takes five minutes, that at a certain time, five products will be in the system. As soon as the sixth product enters the system, the first is leaving it and so on. So these five items that are continuously in the process is the work in progress. Well, this is Little's Law. WIP equals TH multiplied by THT. By the way, Little calls this L equals lambda multiplied by W. Of course, we can calculate the work in progress of the queue and the process time separately. Then we take the queue time or the job time. As we said at the beginning of this video, depending on the literature you read or who you talk to, Little's Law is stated in different wording. For instance, the total time can be called cycle time. And processing and queue times can have different names too. Well, uh, um, uh, well just read what is in this picture. So. This simple formula forms the founding layer for all kinds of production calculations.